All right, we're live. Greetings. Greetings to the body of the people. This is a man called Chris Dorsey, and you are tuned into the Militia Intelligence Report. Thanks for joining us. We've got a lot to cover tonight. I uh, have, or we have, I should say, a special guest tonight, uh, Jessica Collins. She's given her testimony before on this program uh, a, a few times. And we're going to have her back tonight because you will absolutely not believe, well, if you're listening to this broadcast, you may believe uh, what, the, what the government is doing to uh, those who are attempting to expose their crime. And in particular, I'm, I'm discussing Jessica Collins. So Jessica should be with us. Uh, here fairly soon. Let me see what we've got. Oh, back on. Uh, let's see. More nonsense with the. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to have to turn my computer back on and turn it back off again because they're saying no server. Uh, I don't know how or why that is, but in any event, uh, that's what's going on right now, so we are going to be patient and uh, get things get, get things going for the show. So, hey, click like. Please click share. I'm hoping Clifford is going to be on the show. He is in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and uh, uh, we're going to uh, hopefully talk with him when we get things going. My apologies. Uh, this is all we're always dealing with with technical problems and uh, it's just the way it goes. So once we get into the program, we're going to get into and discuss the coronavirus hoax had the massive shifts in the in the stock market, which is nothing but short covering all this uptick in the stock market. It can be it can be described by two words: short covering. That's what's going on. Uh, it's going to go back down. It's going to go back down about twenty twenty percent. So altogether, my my guess, my educated guess as a uh, an economist, is that it the stock market, the S and P, the Dow Jones, uh, the Nasdaq are going to go down about a, another twenty twenty percent. So not 20 points. It's going to go down another 20%. So what you saw with this with this 20% increase in basically a week, that's a that's a uh, it's a product, it's a function of of the system. It's a function of the rigged system called short covering. So that's what's been going on with this uh, uh with this uh, uh okay, hey, that's I, I see Cliffs on the line right now. Uh, the reason why we're not getting his sound is because for some reason they knocked me offline on my computer and that's where I am on in the blog talk radio studio. You know, it, it's it, it it's not anything that really unless in, except for the fact I should say, except for the fact that the computer is always freezing up during our broadcast and we're always constantly getting knocked offline. Uh, it's really neither here nor there to you, the listener. Um, but uh, it does explain why <laughs> we don't have everything up to speed all at once. But we know who's doing this. We know who's behind this. We know 8200 um, targets us directly because you know, we, we, we wish to take them out and take them down. Uh, those are the uh, um, those are the problem starters, and we're the problem solvers. And the solving of the prob of the problem that emanates or it shows itself to us is this is all Mossad operations. Uh, so everything with this uh, coronavirus. Mossad operation, as as we've verified and documented uh, with every sort of issue that goes on in the world, all 
the intelligence agencies of, of the world, yeah, they're subject to the Bank for International Settlements. Sure, they're subject to to uh, uh, the World Bank and the UN, but the entity that is micro directing and macro directing the all of of the uh, police state and treasonous tactics of of this government and all the world government is it's Mossad. So that's that's what you have. So I'll show you just what's going on with with the computer for Jessica and uh, um and uh, Clifford who are waiting. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just show you if you can see this. Um, hoping you'll see this. It's just the spinning circle of death. Um, that we're waiting for to stop. So I can get back into the studio after getting knocked off the studio already, uh, less than ten minutes into the show, um, and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, so we're we're still waiting to be able to unmute <laughs> Jessica and uh, Clifford in the uh, um, in the Blog Talk Radio studio, which, as you can see, is. It's frozen up. It's frozen. So we're going to try a couple things like the control alt delete so we can get back into it. And it's not it's not letting us do this. We may have to turn on the computer and off the computer again. And unfortunately, that's where I get into the blog talk studio. Um, I don't wish to get off of this Facebook because then that will knock me off and we'll have to get back on Facebook again. This is uh, frustrating to a level that is hard, difficult to, to describe. This is, uh, but we shall persevere. And we shall conquer. We shall succeed and then conquer. Turn that back on and off again. So in the meantime, when we're waiting, uh, while we're waiting for uh, uh, the studio to become available, I'll just tell you a little bit about what's going to go on tonight. We're going to describe what's going on with with the uh, um, coronavirus. I don't want to say hoax because that's it's too broad of a statement to just say to just dismiss it as a hoax. It is there are hoax elements of it, but. This is, there is really a coronavirus. It's been around for many years. They, they've been, been calling different animal to human viruses the coronavirus uh, since the 70s and may, maybe even before then. Um, we know that there is a United States patent for this, for this uh, um, uh, illness and for its, uh, for its vaccine. So we know that that's where the motive is on the uh, Peerbright Institute, um, the Peerbright Institute patent on the coronavirus. The motive is the motive is uh, monetary. The motive is patent for vaccine. The motive is forced vaccine. The motive is um, global police state. Now, we, we've seen this around the world that uh, uh, they have told people that you've lost all your freedom and the people of the world have, have uh, responded by complying with, for the most part, complying with this global lockdown, which... Uh, destroys uh every you know for those who um abide by it every bit of uh the freedom of assembly uh that we have um naturally as as human beings uh yeah, man is supreme on on planet earth humans male male and female man is supreme on planet earth we are created in god's image and <laughs> Uh, turn me into a liberal for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, and it's a good one. 
but yeah, that that twelve hundred dollars is everybody buying into global communism right now. This global uh, Ashkenazi directed communism, and that's what we have right now. And we're gonna touch on the case, not touch on. We're gonna delve deeply into the Jessica Collins case, and there, it's unbelievable. I can tell you right off the bat, and we'll get into the details, because when I make these statements about what's really going on in the world, folks go, nah, Chris, it can't be that. I know it's bad, but it can't be that bad. But in the case of Jessica Collins uh, and um, the fact that she is a whistleblower and she's been targeted for such um, uh, for her activity as a whistleblower um what's going on with that case is everything that she is has been accused of and falsely charged with all of the evidence is showing and and uh we have this evidence all of the evidence is showing she is the victim and the government is the perpetrator so that's what's going on there. And we'll get to Jessica just as soon as possible. I bet she and Clifford are on the line, but I can't see that because I am unable to go into the Blog Talk Radio studio. Uh, here we go. Wow. Don't, don't get your hopes up. That was just the first part of being able to try to access my computer. The... Actions of the computer. Okay, so now we are hopefully going to be able to click on the internet because uh, we're not even there yet. Um, uh, I've been knocked off, and they're telling me there's no server uh, twice so far during this broadcast, and we're getting back in. They really don't. They're they're really doing their best to prevent us from getting this information out to you. They are absolutely doing their best. And why not? Because as I always say, you waste your time listening to anyone else. I don't trust their analysis because, hey, I mean, folks can listen to me. They can look back at what I've been doing on international television and on individual broadcasts and videos and radio shows. And I can tell you, I'm a good judge of this. I say I'm the best judge of this. And I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I listen to other folks when they're experts in a certain field. But as far as putting together what's going on with this global criminal world government police state, this is the place to get the information. There's no other place to get this kind of firsthand information. And I can tell you if fo folks that remember Jessica, on the last broadcast, we were like, hey, this is what happened. This is what happened in this instance. This drug dealer working for the police and with the police drug Jessica Collins. And this guy is running an operation right outside the local food lion. And that when they say Jessica Collins was assaulted, what they if they were to tell the truth, it was, it was, no, if they say Jessica Collins assaulted uh, individuals, the actual fact is she was assaulted. When they say that, uh, uh, that they have proof of a crime, that really means that they have no proof of a crime. But this just fits in with everything else in society. Everything else in society is, is going this way. It's been going this way. We've been telling you, and now we're going to get into, extreme details of particular cases um yeah there's there's standing i can tell you what's going on here in richmond virginia the police ha now have a special number a special number so if you see ind individuals congregating more than five individuals congregating give this special police number a call it's going to be their first priority above anything else the worst crime that you can commit as far as the criminal, treasonous, 
police department and government in, in the United States right now is congregating in groups of five or more. That's what they say is going to give first priority. And they're telling everybody, hey, watch your neighbors. Narc on your neighbors if they're, uh, um, you know, having a family gathering. Narc on them. Here's a special number. We'll get right over. Um, I'm going to block you, Barry White. Um, I'm going to delete the comment. Uh, we don't, we don't need, we don't need my, my imitators. We don't need my imitators, those who copy all my work. And he knows it. That copies all my work. Don't need it. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can say okie dokie all you want. But I can tell you, I'm not having like my copiers, the a poor man's version of, of my analysis being promoted on my show. Cool. Criminal. Narc, Fed, that's Barry White, he's a Fed. All right, that's Barry Allen White, born in Detroit, Michigan, Fed. Um, so, flake off. And, uh, uh, yeah, you should watch it with me, buddy. So, there you go. Uh, there you go, Barry Allen White, Fed, promoting other Feds that copy my work on my channel. So, no thanks. No thanks. Feds, narcs, snitches, get biker gang members. Yeah. No thanks. We all know we all know that uh, uh that these that all these quote unquote biker gangs are really run by the police. So, that's what we're doing. Yeah, a lot of folks watching, they're very interested in this in this stuff, in this subject matter we we are we're going to discuss tonight. And uh, I'm going to give it another five minutes. And if we can't figure that out, I may have to start this broadcast again on Facebook. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case. But we are having massive technical issues with the Blog Talk Radio studio. So many apologies for that. Uh, many apologies to Clifford and our guest, Jessica Lee Collins, that are waiting on the line. Um, We'll get that going uh, as soon as we can, even if we have to run the studio from my phone and have, you know, have to uh, um, uh, start the whole broadcast over. I'll give you warning before we do that. Um, but uh, and I'm going to try another thing. I'm going to grab another device that is. No, I, I can't. I can't grab that device. It's it's not working properly. Um, just thinking about. Things to do to get this broadcast going. All right, I am gonna have to grab another device. Hopefully, we can. All right, well, we are. There's Max. <laughs> All right. Now everything's going wrong with this thing. Uh, rotate the camera. Rotate the camera. Rotate it. All right. Well, this is hard to believe, folks. Um, this is really hard to believe. gonna just I'm just gonna do this for now because it seems like all of my devices are being I don't even want to say anything that's gonna make me sound paranoid but I uh, I can show you what's going on on the computer
All right. Okay, we got that back now. So apologies. I'm just gonna try to get this going again here. If not, I'm gonna have to take old devices that I have to have plugged in to even have uh, working. And we're gonna get we're gonna get to this testimony here in just a second. So. All right, so we're going to get to the stock market right now, and uh, then we're going to hopefully get the uh, um, get the studio up and running. So what's going on now, folks? And I apologize, just explaining to you what's going on. We're being locked out of the Blog Talk Radio studio. That's how we have the guests on for the show, and of course... What we planned on doing tonight was having our special guest on again tonight. We've been working on this uh, Jessica Collins case. We've been covering it um, for, well, uh, a while now, almost, almost an entire year. And so we are going to give the smoking guns about the government framing of Jessica Collins. And we're going to show beyond a shadow of a doubt that the government, and in particular, Accomack County in this case, Accomack County, Virginia, is charging individuals, uh, um, uh, charging an individual, Jessica Collins. And in doing so, we have found extreme criminal activity uh, on the part of the Virginia State Police, the Accomack County Sheriff's Department, the Accomack uh, County Commonwealth Attorney's Office, and uh, the Clerk of the Court for Accomack County, and particular judges, and maybe less so the judges than the other, because the judge does not seem to wish to uh, attach his name to much of the illegal activity. Um, although... Uh, he, he seems to be attaching it to some, um, so again, we're going to try to get on the computer, get on the computer to, um, and so see, there, there it is. That's me just trying to get on the computer. This is as far as we've gotten. And I can tell you, I don't know why we have technical, technical difficulties a lot, but it really seems that, that it hits when we're about to tell the most important things and when when i when i tell you about Jessica Collins case she is exposing individuals that are like Joe Biden that he he's involved in this you know Epstein DC madam trafficking operation Stephen Miller uh in the what you know White House advisor right now um John McCain uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Andrew Windsor, uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. And so they want her quiet. They don't want to hear her talking. They don't want to, they don't wish to, uh, um, uh, allow, uh, a whistleblower to go out there and expose these crimes. And it's not a partisan crime. And I can tell you, as she gets a lot of, and I've seen a lot of, um, uh, this partisan stuff, acting as if the Trump administration's not in on it. Now, we know Trump uh, is accused of raping multiple um, uh, teen and actually preteen sex slaves along with Jeffrey Epstein. And we know that he molests his daughter in front of a camera and then likes to continue to do that in his adult life 
and talk about it all the time. So again, I don't like talking about this kind of stuff, but this is just to show you what kind of complete degenerate scumbags there are pervasively through government. And if you work for the government and you're not doing this, you're just covering for these individuals. So you're involved with it. You're definitely involved with it if you work for the government. You know, and I'm we know it's everybody in the government. Every single person, no exceptions. None. None. Not one single exception to the rule in this operation. And that's what we have. That these government officials, these high-ranking government officials, really all they do is they engage in war against the people, and in particular, they like to get involved with gun trafficking, drug trafficking, human trafficking, raping children, raping adults. That's what they do. They don't do anything else. That's all they do. Nothing else. Not one other thing. Absolutely not one other thing. So that's what we're going to discuss, and we're going to get into that, and then we're going to say like, oh, okay, well that that's fine. Do they ever let these you know victims go? Do they do they just go like, oh, okay, we're done with you. We'll let you live in peace. No, they absolutely do not. They go and they terrorize them, and that's that's what I'm I'm going to get into uh, with when I, when we finally get to discuss this operation with. Jessica Collins is that they are terrorizing uh terrorizing her. And as someone who has been terrorized by the government, I mean, it, it's something that I can that I can uh pick out and 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 show where they're doing it. I'm experienced at being terrorized by the government. And the reason I'm I'm terrorized by the government. Oh, I mean, there's many reasons. But one of the main reasons is, hey, they'll let you speak out against them as long as you don't say anything relevant. As long as you don't get to the core of the issue, the fact that the government is entirely 100% criminal and fraudulent and there are no exceptions, not one single exception. And I would love to hear it. If anyone, if anyone disagrees in any sort of way, hey, love to hear it. Love to hear it because you're wrong. It's obvious. It's self-evident. There is absolutely no denying that. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So we're going to try this. Hopefully. There you go. Come on, please. Please, please. All right. So we're, we're, I've got an old device that, uh, I had to search for the, uh, um, the, uh, the thing to plug it in <laughs> to even get it operational because I'm locked out of my computer for some reason tonight. It's just locked up. It's, it's, it, that's it. All right. And you know what's what's going on in the background? I can hear I can hear Joe Biden speaking. So as as we speak of the devil, the devil appears on uh, on camera in the background. So now we just got to get to the studio. Studio. And I'm going to and I'm not taking callers tonight. I'm not going to take any callers other than Clifford and Jessica just because I don't wish to uh, have anything screwed up. If we're, if I'm fortunate, you know, God willing, to uh, um, to get in into the studio and to unmute uh, Jessica and Clifford, it's still loading up for some reason. I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, uh, Jessica's unmuted. Clifford should be unmuted. 
Hey, Jessica. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry about what's going on with this technical difficulty, but I know that you, you have much experience, uh, with this. Um, so I'm glad finally we got you on the line. Let's do a quick sound check. Uh, and if folks on Facebook can uh, tell me whether Jessica is coming through loud and clear or not, can you just do like a test one, two, three? Hi, everybody. I'll try to speak up. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I know people. My voice is a little bit too quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're quiet. I'm loud. But uh, uh, but anyway, yeah, just concentrate on being as loud as you can, Jess. And we're gonna get right into it. Um, I'll try. All right. All right. You're sounding, sounding good. Okay. If Cliff, uh, there she is. Okay. So we got that. Uh, Cliff says as much as I despise the satanic mob, I'm so frustrated with the populace, not running with this and saying to themselves, this recklessness of the populace is horrid. No, a- absolutely. No doubt. Uh, you know, they've, they've been, they've been trained this way. They're mind controlled this way. And that's just the way it goes, and so it ma- it makes it it makes it uh, um, dangerous, more dangerous. Yeah, the fecklessness is what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's better. Uh, Cliff meant to say the fecklessness of the population is hor- horrid. It it is. They are feckless is is the absolutely uh, right word. Cliff says you're coming through uh, loud and clear, Jess. So, uh, uh, Hey, great. Uh, uh, thanks, Ron Elston. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, uh, great. Great to hear from you. Thanks. All right, Jess. So uh, I, I discussed, and I think you were probably listening, uh, the fact that, uh, um, that basically not basically exactly what they, what these criminals in Accomack County have done to you is accuse you of everything that we now have video verification from a number of different sources that you are actually a victim of. So they accuse you of doing what other other persons have done to you. Do you think that's an accurate way? To, you know, before we get into all the details. Do you think that that's like a good, you know, uh, opening statement about what's going on? It's exactly what's happening. It's exactly what's happening right now. They're trying to get me thrown in prison. And I've gotten that um, exculpatory evidence. And it shows nothing that they were saying is true at all. They're going to try and, and uh, claim it is, but it's, it's not. And I don't know how to defend myself when there's only one judge to make that determination absolutely it, it's ridiculous and we'll get into the details but the the first thing that happened since the last time you and i spoke that was that was significant but we we put this out as the most likely scenario that when when they were saying that you assaulted these individuals that seem to be involved well that are i've I've seen enough to know they're involved in a drug operation that is operating right in the, in the front of the store, right before, you know, standing, sitting right at the entrance of the food line in Accomack County, there's a drug operation going on. And, uh, one of the main things that, that came out since then, we we said, oh, this is what's going on is that there is video proof of that there is video proof of this and it includes two of the individuals involved now it seems this one individual called coy likely and and this is this is what uh, uh the police uh according to uh other video evidence that we said they they kept saying like you're on drugs and you're like no i'm not on drugs i haven't taken any drugs i'm the, you're on drugs and so it seems likely, as we said before, that this drug dealer who openly deals drugs in front of the Accomack County food lion drugged you. And that, uh, uh, that, yeah. 
and and that that we have video evidence of this guy dealing drugs in front of the food lion just as just as we stated uh in, in the last two broadcasts that that uh, uh, that we did together and now there's a video of of this of this drug deal um that is I mean, it's it's out there for everyone to see. I, I was hanging out with my neighbors, and like you know, I like them. They're they're nice. They're nice folks. They're good. They're good friends. And uh, they're like, really, this is going on? And I'm like, yeah, I'll show you. There's a video of this guy dealing drugs in front of the food line. They're like, no, that can't be. I'm like, yeah, it's up on Twitter. It's got like you know, between like you know, one and two thousand people have watch this guy that you know nobody really knew before this yeah he's dealing drugs in front of the food line and that he in fact seemed to have drugged you uh then then uh we had another video that jessica made where she's talking to a sheriff's deputy in Accomack county called megan traxler is that is that is that correct Okay, so okay, so that's the investigator that that was that was uh, um sent to investigate Coy Bailey, and she states clearly. I, go go ahead, Jess. I don't want to talk over you. You're the your 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 yeah. testimony is the important part. Go ahead. Um, of speaking. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not hearing when you stop. I'm, I'm inserting my voice over yours, but it's not, it's not because I'm interrupting. It's because there is that delay. Yes, it's all good. But, um, yeah. yeah, it's all good. You got the floor. Whenever, whenever you wish to take the floor, you know, you got the floor. We, we operate under Robert's rules. And at this point, I'll be the facilitator but you can be the, you, you know, you're the head of the meeting. So when you wish to speak, just as any any individual, you know, using parliamentary procedure, you get, you know, a, a, that's in charge of, of, of the meeting, you get to speak. So don't worry about interrupting me. That's fine. Because as soon as you interrupt me and I hear it, I will stop talking and you have the floor. So, uh, um, yeah, go ahead with, with your thought, Jess. that I felt like I was drugged. As soon as whatever was in my system were off, I told them I felt like I was drugged. And the officer who arrested me told me that they, they, they would test my blood for those type of drugs. And um, all of this time, it's been two months, I've been strung along by Megan Tressler and told that my blood was going to be tested for drugs. I got uh, the analyzation of the blood back in the mail and there was no drug testing on it. Um, and so what they did is they had taken two vials of my blood that evening. And what they, the district attorney, Spencer Morgan, and Megan Trexler, the Accomack County investigator, did was took that second vial from wherever it was being held in state custody and sent it to their own forensic laboratory. Jess, let me let me stop you right there. Hold on, Hold, Jess. Let me stop. Let me stop you right there. Hey, for everybody, um, for everybody, and Cliff, if you could put a link into the Blog Talk Radio, if you're saying that the that the volume is is not is not loud, go listen to the show on Blog Talk Radio, and you can watch me if you if you wish, or 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 you don't have to watch me. But if you're having a, a difficult time hearing. Uh, Jessica, Jessica will speak up as loud as she can. And also you can go on blog talk radio. You can go on blog talk radio and she, it's a direct line. So we're broadcasting on Facebook, but our audio or Jessica and Clifford's audio is the audio from blog talk radio. So don't you don't need to tell me that the audio's poor and turn the volume up. 
just go directly to Blog Talk Radio, the Militia Intelligence Report on Blog Talk Radio. So let me repeat this again. The Militia Intelligence Report on Blog Talk Radio. And Ron says he can hear. So, so okay. But if you can't, I mean, I know for me, my, my hearing's not that great. So maybe some people whose hearing is good, they can hear you fine, Jess. And, and maybe for others, I will remind them again because I don't want to get distracted with this. You can get the audio on Blog Talk Radio, and Cliff sent us a direct link. So, so apologies again for interrupting, but that's just how it goes because they're doing everything that they can to make this as difficult uh, on us as possible. So we're just going to stick to, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, we're just going to stick stick to listening to what Jessica is saying right now. And I apologize again. The floor is yours, Jess. Right. I'm speaking as well because I'm sitting down. I noticed it's that fine. my volume is lower um, compared to yours, but this is as loud as I can talk without, like, yelling. Um, they took the second vial of blood and sent it to the same laboratory that was supposed to test the first vial of blood. They already had the first vial of blood that they could have retested since they didn't test it. Okay, let's stop there, Jess. Okay, let's hold, hold up, Jess. Let's stop there. Okay, is it is it completely and utterly unusual and unheard of to have two different vials for testing? I would know. Well, I mean, ha, ha, I, I've heard, I've heard that it's very unusual. I've heard that it. it I, 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 I've heard that is, it is not procedure. It is not proper procedure and it is grounds for, for a, a, uh, um, you know, an explanation as to that it's, that it's not what's normally done and that they're doing this and they are, go ahead. Okay. Okay. It, it, I will a at that point. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you were a you were drugged and were a political prisoner. And I've got right now queued up the uh, the the Twitter feed from um, uh, uh, Traxler from Megan Traxler, and I'm going to turn the camera and turn the volume all the way up, all the way up, and. If you can't hear it properly, you can go to Jessica Lee Collins on Twitter and you can see it there. But again, I what I believe is that um, we are going to see this video. There you see right there. I'm pointing at Megan Traxler's uh, badge. And what she's going to say is, and you'll listen to her exact words, that Instead of Jessica assaulting individuals, it's actually Jessica Collins that was assaulted. And she states that the individuals who assaulted her and uh, uh, are, are friends with this guy, Coy uh, Bailey, who is a local drug dealer openly dealing drugs. And we'll show you a video of him dealing drugs out in front of the food lion. But in any event, we'll start with this one. Cause I think that this is the most key video where this woman, Megan Traxler, no, who's a sheriff's deputy with Accomack County, knows she's being filmed and contradicts the charges against 
Jessica Collins. And I'll repeat myself once again, you know, because I like to compete my repeat myself over and over again when something is important. Jessica is the victim of the assault. She is not the perpetrator of the assault. And and here, we'll listen. We'll stop right there. I know the people who assaulted you at Food Lion are friends with him. Talking about Coy Bailey. And that, and then she's going to go on to say like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Jess. Right. Right. And that's that's because according to Megan Traxler, who yeah. who presumably has evidence has evidence, i.e. video surveillance or other evidence, that in fact you were assaulted by his friends. Coy Bailey, the individual that seemingly drugged you. And when we say we, we said with fair with good confidence that you were drugged. And then during this whole incident, and we may get to the sound for this if we can if we can do it properly, that uh, um, that these individuals keep repeating over and over again, "You're on drugs. What drugs are you on?" So these these police officers and state troopers, these deputies and troopers, they're trained to recognize somebody, you know, a difference between somebody who's just drunk and somebody who is on drugs or in this case has been drugged so megan traxler is saying on camera these individuals assaulted you they're friends with the individual that is dealing drugs out in front of the food line blatantly for everyone to see especially the police that they have left alone they have left they have left uh uh this guy alone allowed him to get filmed dealing drugs you got a nice still shot on on your twitter feed i'll show that and then i'll show him dealing drugs uh, 2000 people have watched that video right and those individuals yeah. who accuse you of assault actually according to Megan Trexler assaulted you so at that point, all the charges for assault must be dropped and there must be a new investigation because an assault is a violent crime and a, you know, you, they cannot prove that you were driving drunk in any sort of way. They kept saying you were, but they had no proof and you did not admit to it, even though they stated that they arrested you and took you into custody because you admitted it but everything in in the evidence that they're going to use against you that they must send to you under the brady doctrine or the brady statute discovery contradicts that they say you were driving i wasn't you know i don't I, what you were driving did you drove into this ditch i didn't drive into the ditch you hit something. What else did you hit? I didn't hit anything. What are you talking about? You assaulted these people. I didn't assault any people. What are you talking about? So they're saying you admitted to all this, but that's a lie. That's a verified lie. Correct? Well, they coached me into saying by saying that they but they said, you know, uh, you drove into the ditch. 
why did you drive into the ditch? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you actually talking about? And you can tell by listening to the audio that I have no clue what they're talking about. Right. And then she's like, you, well, you drove into the ditch. What else did you hit? And I'm just like, oh, okay, I hit a raccoon. You said a deer on the way in. Right. And that is... So Sarcasm. sarcasm. There, there's you, you, you did not hit a raccoon or a deer or anything, and there's absolutely no proof no, that you were driving the car to begin with. I never admitted to driving. Absolutely. I never admitted to driving at all. Okay. Okay. So. Driving at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that was the pretext. Insisting that I was driving. Right. He kept insisting that you were driving. So they had this all this planned out, or this is what they do to everybody, you know, or a combination of the two. They had this planned out. They stated, you admitted this, but there's no evidence that you admitted it. And there's every evidence to the contrary of you admitting it. Even when they try to beat you down and wear you down over and over again, you never state that you were driving that car. And again, that that is... That is a less serious crime than the crime that this Megan Trexler lady is saying that friends of the individual who is a drug dealer who seemingly did something like drug you and was actually possibly the driver of the car and likely the driver of the car. He disappeared, made a, possibly made a call inside the store. And it seems like all these guys are in on it together. But I want to get to the next part of Megan Trexler. And what she's saying is that these guys are either going to corroborate the fact that they assaulted you or they're going to lie. So it's like, hey, they're either going to lie or they're going to corroborate. Okay, let's listen here if we can. And again, you can find this audio and video on Jessica Lee Collins' Twitter account. There you see the how you get to it. There you go. So I'm just going to play it, and, and we're hoping for the best with this audio. Is lost to you ever since then, and there was an effort to get them to corroborate them, or, you know, or to get them to lie. But, but that way, you know, everybody was kind of lying to you guys. They're going to corroborate everything about the fact that they assaulted you or they're going to lie. Okay. So at this point, the, the Commonwealth's attorney and everyone else, the clerk of the court, they're just, they're just, you know, uh, uh, they're lying. They're only holding, you know, they're only covering up the truth. So this is where this drug dealer, this is the food lion right there. This is the drug dealer. And like, Hey man, like I don't have any problem. It's with with the uh with with drug dealers, except for I know what drug dealers are. They're government agents who work for the police. Uh, that's what that's what they're doing, and especially. Well, see, I didn't know, you know, because I, I wanted to say that I didn't realize he was selling drugs outside of outside the store. I had no, it never crossed my mind. I never realized what he was doing out there. I just noticed over the month of December and January that he was there every time I went there. Started um, to get into his routine of that shopping center every week because it was closer to my home and it was easier to go there than to drive another 20 minutes away. So it became a routine and that's when I saw him each time I would go there. And that's how I became familiar with him. But it did never occur to me that he was, you know, out there selling, like, serious, that he could be selling serious drugs. But that's what I suspect now, knowing that, you know, what I went through and listening to the audio, knowing how I felt, um, you know, from one instance that I remember um, where I did feel like I was on drugs. It wasn't just um, it, anything that I had had to drink at all. So um, everyone knows that this guy... Yeah, yeah, everyone knows this guy's dealing drugs, and now we have that. This is a still image from a video clip that I'm going to try to um, locate here on your Twitter feed. 
Uh, and of course, my computer is doing the weird stuff again. But well, I'm saying I didn't know I didn't know he was selling drugs. He told me that he sold drugs to uh, and marijuana is what he told me, not anything other than that. That's all I knew about. Yeah, that's what all these scumbags do. Yeah. Anything to do with any other type of drug? Well. Um, so, but it just never crossed my mind that that was going on at that store. Like, right. So the video footage of what happened inside the food line is absent. It's just non-existent, and that would clearly show what occurred. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So this is but one of the. Missing, and the police say that they thought I was on drugs right away from the first interaction. I tell them, within hours, I feel like I was drugged. They tell me they're going to test for the blo- for the drugs, and then they don't test for the drugs. They basically confiscate the second vial and keep it within their in-jail, denied jail, for that five-day period where I might have been able to have an actual independent test done. Right. So... So these are all tactics where they're guaranteeing themselves to be able to cover their own asses. Do you, would you say that that's accurate? Yeah, absolutely. And especially watching this video, I can see the officer keeps coaxing me to say that I was driving, and I don't admit that I was driving ever. And I actually honestly have no clue who was driving. I do know there was two people in the vehicle. One of the officers says we have there were two of them. We have one of them in custody. That's a key point too. So they said two individuals and then they all of a sudden decide that it's just gonna be you. That it's just gonna be you to take to take the rap for what you're a victim of, which is the assault, and that they're just gonna take these individuals um you know words for it. Uh, yes. I, I just thought of an right. idea. And it very much appears that the officer, it appears that the officer on the scene was in on it, or he was used to doing this to people, um, you know, hitting them with a crime that they haven't committed when it's pretty obvious that person hasn't committed the crime, and they keep denying that they have committed it. Yeah. Okay, Jess, hey, can you, can you uh, retweet or put at the top of your page that, uh, um, that uh, uh, thing with Koi because I, I keep yeah. I keep stro- scrolling down and I'm I'm missing it. It's taken so long to get to it. I want to get to that so folks can see what we're talking about. That uh, yeah. that that basically this guy yeah. is blatantly you know selling selling uh, drugs uh, in front of the food lion for everyone to see. You know families, children, the cops. You know, everyone, everyone. So we're we're gonna get that. Yeah, I think most people are like me, though. I mean, most people in the public wouldn't think about it as deeply. Um, because it didn't occur to me that that's what was going on. Yeah, well, it's. I was drugged. Yep. All right. Well. All right. Hey, Cliff. Cliff, can you respond to Reddit the troublemaker uh, on on her account? Because I, I don't want to keep repeating. If the audio is not good, you can follow that link. Reddit Daniels. Yeah, just 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 uh, hey, you, just. You want me to respond to people on their actual Facebook account? No, no. Respond to her in replying to her saying we cannot hear. Because I, I mean, I I think it was about ten or fifteen minutes ago. Okay. I already told. I already so so Chris. Chris, let me get this out. I'm sending the blog talk link on another social media platform. I can put the link in there again. I already told these demons they have no excuse. I don't want to waste time on these demons. Let's continue. Right. Okay. 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 I, I, I'm just I'm just saying so like Retta, you know, she's such a troublemaker when she was saying that I was lying Daniel, about. Daniel, get her. Block her. Block her. Block her. Let's go. All right. Okay. So Jess, did you, did you reshare that? So it's at the top of your Twitter feed? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try to refresh the page. Refresh the page. And hopefully that doesn't freeze up the computer. 
Um, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. So, so again. Okay, it's refreshing, so you can see see what I'm doing. It gives me a lot of trouble. Yeah, well, as with, you can see. With hyperventricular exercise experience, I experience it every single day. Yeah. Every single day. Yeah. Every single day. Oh, I know. We, my computer hacked as soon as uh, it's September. I, that's why I haven't been able to put out the actual story of what happened to me and my daughter in relation to Jeffrey Epstein and their whole sex trafficking ring, and now this. Okay. So, it, uh, you know, since September, I haven't been able to share the, the real story. Absolutely. And this is just more of that same interference. Okay, so this we're watching... The, Okay, we're watching this video now, Jess. We're watching this video, and we can break this down. It's been seen by 2.3 thousand people. And out of all these individuals uh, that watch this, everybody knows what a drug deal looks like. Everybody knows what it looks like. And uh, we can, we can, uh, you can watch it one more time. And you can watch it as many times as you want. It's up on Twitter. It's been seen by over 2,000 people. So that guy's pissed because he's like, oh, shit, I just got caught on, on camera dealing, you know, in a drug deal. And that coy shrugs his shoulders like, I don't know. Whatever, man. I work for the cops. I'm doing this right in front of everybody's face. And the, the girls who walk by in the green coat that looks over at the drug deal and then stops and turns around to go back, she appears to be the person who has accused me of assaulting her. Right. Another key point. Another key point, Jess. So again, this is this. You know, right. So any one of these things is enough to for everything in a legitimate trial to stop it, and for everyone to say, "Well, hey, wait a second. Uh, this isn't right." This isn't right. I'm I'm back on now. This this seems to be really screwed up in every sort of way. So now adding to that is they have been holding back the exculpatory evidence, which seems to be the same thing as what they claim is the evidence that they're going to use against you, Jessica. Where it's not you who's saying you were driving. It's these individuals who are telling you you were, uh, uh, you know, uh, that you were driving, even though you're saying no, <laughs> or uh, what are you talking about? Well, what the wreck? What wreck? You're on drugs. Okay, so getting back to this drug testing thing with the police. So if the the police being the police, and they want to stick it to everyone. Now they especially want to stick it to you. But you know they want to stick it to everyone. They're saying you're you're on drugs. You're on drugs. You're on drugs. You keep they keep saying that to you. You're on drugs. So now let, let's let's revisit the fact that these degenerate pieces of filth called government agents, they are trained to be able to tell the difference between somebody on on uh you know, uh, meth, cocaine, heroin, alcohol, etc. And they're saying, you're definitely on drugs. You're definitely on drugs. But then, what would be the next step for, for them? Because they want to get you. Okay, prove it. Run a drug test. Run a drug test on her. So why did they drag their feet? Why did they lie? Why did they take two samples? Why did they take two samples? Why didn't they just do the most straightforward drug test immediately? Because they're accusing you of that. So they see it. I oh. actually asked them to drug test me. I asked them to, ask to drug test me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, multiple times, all the way through, I had to, to make sure they were following up on the drug test investigation into the drug dealer and i will tell you there's there's just just real quick i want to get this out yeah yeah 
uh, let me get this out because I, then I want you to follow up with what you're getting ready to say. They have countless ways to falsify drug tests and they do it all the time. They do it all the time. They have countless ways. And one of the ways that they often do it is getting two samples and doing the old switcheroo shell game with it. So you're saying they're saying you're on drugs? Good. Test it. You asked for them to test it. You demanded that they test it. And they didn't do it properly. Go ahead, Jess. Sorry. Didn't mean to. That's a, that's a worst case scenario, but at this point, if they're stating that, and they are, and it's been seen by almost 2,000 individuals, that a member of the sheriff's department that is investigating this case states that you were assaulted, and in fact, that you did not assault anyone, why didn't those assault charges immediately disappear? Why wasn't there a new investigation into the assault against you? Why is why is the uh, uh, why is the investigator bringing up the fact that of what you already knew, what you investigated, and probably everyone in the in the uh, uh, sheriff's department and state police are and Commonwealth Attorney's Office already knew, in that these individuals who assaulted you, using using Megan Trexler's words, the investigator. They assaulted you and their friends with the individual who all evidence is pointing to drugged you. So we'll talk about like, yeah, getting in front of the judge at a later date. But this, if this goes in front of a judge, then that's the, that's the most blatant liar judge of all time. That's the most crooked garbage judge of all time if they allow this stuff with all the the mitigating circumstances, all the fact that everything that you're accused of, there is a, a, a exhibit upon a exhibit that shows the exact opposite happened. Not that hey, they go they say uh, Jessica Collins assaulted three people. Hmm, wait a second. Here's what really happened, according to Megan Traxler. Three people assaulted Jessica Collins. She said that in clear English. Unambiguous. Clear. And they'll either either corroborate that or they'll lie. Why why would she say that they, they would lie? She knows she's being recorded. That's like, you know, a pretty strong statement. Or they'll lie. My guess is... The only guess I can think that that makes any sort of sense is she saw video. She knows that they assaulted you and she knows they might lie about it because they lied about it in the first place. And that every single thing about why you were arrested for the alleged DUI when you were nowhere near a car, that there's no evidence that you were driving and that there's a a strong possibility that someone else was driving that, 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 that they keep repeating over and over again. You did this, you did that. And, and you didn't even say you did that. However, in their reports, which justified the arrest, they said that they knew you were guilty because you admitted to it, that you told them you were driving and their video evidence that is allegedly, according to the rules, what is to be used against you. The evidence that they have against you 100% contradicts that. And that, 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 that the audio and video from the police, from the state, of, from the Commonwealth of Virginia, from Accomack County, it's, it shows that they're berating you to attempt to get you to admit to something that you never actually admit to. which 
that's that's cool. Except for the fact that they said all of their all of their uh, um, probable cause comes from you admitting that. And if that's the case, excuse me, y'all. Can I can I ask a question? Certainly. As far as people involved in Jessica's um, trafficking, Joe, we know Joe Biden is involved. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm about to send. I'm about to send the link to his Instagram account, and then I will screenshot it and share it on Facebook. I doubt you can see it, but they know what's going on. But just to say, I'm I'm putting in as much effort as I can, disseminating this information. Continue. Okay. Hey, thanks, Cliff. Yeah. yeah. He knows he, he remembers that. And, and his son too, Hunter Biden. And, and his son. Yeah. yeah, Hunter knows me as well. I have audio of him in my apartment. Yep. Yep. Right on. Yep, I do. And yep. that's the reason I started to say that over the internet, and then this happened. Right. Um, and the police, when they arrested me and put me in their vehicle, they actually tied my leg to their door. I can't tell if they tied my hand, but it sounds like it from what I can hear me say. It sounds like they tied my hands to one side of their car in the in the back seat and my feet to the other side of the car. That's sick. I they they are sick. Water and, yeah. So so with yeah. all all of this and, and, Right. And and this is why I, I say that all these guys working for the government are criminal. Because if I work for e- any of these organizations and it came out that uh, uh, that every accusation and charge they made against the individual is actually the opposite. I mean, Megan Trexler, you know, I mean, it, it was good that she did that. It was good that she that she put it yeah. out there. But she's got to do more than that because what she's yeah. doing now is just, I think, under order because they're all order followers. They all follow the order of the individual with the, you know, powerful, most powerful symbol, you know, uh, uh, patched on their arm. Um, that, uh, you know, basically she was like, you know, real talkative up until the point where she exposed the whole operation with, with her badge visible with her badge. Right. Right. Right out for all to see. for them taking the second vial of blood. She turned over the interview that um, where she stated I was assaulted right over to the DA the same day. Um, yeah, the Commonwealth's attorney. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, with, with these right. guys and how, the, how they're dirty tricksters, maybe... She turned it over to her boss, and her boss turned it over to Spencer, which was a stupid mistake because they said they were using that evidence against you, and it's all exonerating evidence. It's beyond exonerating because the charges are false. There is no proof that you did any crime. No proof. No, the police, the police are the ones who accused me of crime and said I committed crime. And right. The same police station, they've known since October of 2018 that I am a victim of abuse, madam. They've known that because I reported to them in October of 2018. And then I went back in September of 2019 to report a death threat by one of the D.C. Madam's associates. So these police officers, this entire county sheriff's office is aware and has been aware of my situation. Before this happens, yeah, where they're hitting me with a crime that I didn't commit and trying to charge me with a felony assault on law enforcement officers when there's no evidence of that either. There's no evidence of that, and 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 uh, hold on, hold on. I want to be clear about that because those charges are just threats. They have not actually been been brought against you. Correct. Once they find me guilty of these crimes, 
that they've charged fraudulently and knowingly fraudulently. Um, I'm assuming that that's what their plan is. That's what it looks like they're planning to do. That, 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 that you know, up. if they if they can get away with it, if they can get away with it, you know, they will do anything that they can get away with. That You see, that's that's what kind of individuals these are. These are dishonorable, dishonest individuals who are bullies. Instead of protecting the weak, they target the weak and protect the strong. So, yeah, it's disgusting what they what they do. Let's get to some more of the evidence. What what more audio and video or, or audio and video or just audio? What would you would you like to put out there right right now for the for the people that that you think is Right. The officer, you know, starting off saying, uh, why did you, or I can play it for you so you can hear exactly what he says, but it might be, it might be about four or five minutes long. I'm not sure if that's too long to share, but I've cut down as much as I can that wasn't, you know, relevant or crucial. Okay. To try and be able to get the most important parts out. You want right. me to play that? Let's go ahead and play this because we're getting this on record right now. We're going to do, we're going to do another maybe shorter video where we get more concise with everything. But in, yeah. in the flow of the show, I, yeah. I, 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 I wish for these, for these audio clips to be heard. And, and let's, ex, let's set it up a little bit more again for everyone. Cause you know, everything's got to be repeated over and over for everyone in case they, you know, every aspect of it. This is the cops attempting to frame Jessica and this is what they say is Jessica admitting to driving, and it's just verifying that that's 100% a lie. And she has been, we believe, I believe, all evidence is pointing to the fact that she was drugged by a drug dealer. We've already established that those are all facts as far as that he's a drug dealer, but all signs point to the fact that she was drugged and that this officer keeps saying, she was drugged or you're on not not she was drugged excuse me let me repeat myself again and correct myself that she was on drugs that you were on drugs and so this gets into why if she keeps saying that that she's on drugs why do they keep playing the old switcheroo and the shell game and hiding and obfuscating if they're so sure she's on drugs and she was drugged she was drugged then why didn't they immediately test? Why did they have to be told to test? What they they would automatically do that if they believe somebody's on drugs, they're going to test them, especially when the individual is asking to be tested for drugs. All right, yeah, go ahead. And, and basically, again, this is the individual put attempting to the the state police and Accomack County Sheriff's Department attempting to put words in Jessica Collins' mouth to frame her and um and that that being completely false and then and then failing. Uh yeah, go ahead, Jess. And and listen up for me to say like maybe a strategic okay. point to stop. Like it Okay. Okay. Yeah, at the end the place where I stopped um, you know, trying to put it together precisely is where I'm screaming about my comp constitutional rights being violated, so right. I'm going to go ahead and start it now. It's Officer, uh, Virginia State Police Officer Cody Corbin is the one who's trying to put words in my mouth. Interesting. Okay, so if 
Jessica, can you stop can you stop the recording real quick? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. I, I wish to hear the part where he, he starts saying that you're on drugs. Is, is that is that in the is that in the in this clip? Yeah, he just said that. Okay, can we play that over again? Right. Okay. It, 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 and we'll get. Hold on one second. I'll find yeah, we we shall get the the transcript too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm having to transcribe it myself, actually. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and I'm also making a video so I can put it out on the internet. Yeah. Um, and people can actually see it for themselves. Okay. Well, where I'm saying, oh, you're getting, um. So rough or something like that. He's asking, he's assaulting me. He's I'm assaulting you. Trying. Yeah, me. yeah. Somebody pointed out a yeah, couple I'm things about this CC Corbin guy. Um, yeah, we we know the thirty three symbolism there, but I I can tell you, um, yeah, these guys are demons, and uh, um, you know, uh, we recognize that they they don't have the the authority that 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 uh that we do that they they serve a lesser god satan um yeah go ahead go ahead jess i, I just want to hear him him stating that you're on drugs okay right so what i'm gonna say is um oh you're getting you're so aggressive because that's where he was actually you know being assaultive and and you know harming me and then i laugh about it you know to play it off so it doesn't get worse and that's when he says that i'm on drugs so i i hope you can hear it but this is the best i can do okay I did hear him say that, but but didn't he question? Right, are you on drugs? I heard that part. Didn't he question you? Didn't he say you were on drugs? Didn't he make an an affirm affirmative statement about you being on drugs? And didn't he mention drugs? Okay, that's what I want to hear. So three times, three times, he says you're on drugs. She's on something. She says she's on something. She's on something. I heard it. She's on something. I I heard it. The other folks go 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 to Blog Talk Radio, play it back over and over again. If you if you if you doubt it, if you doubt it, but I I've listened to this before. Just once, and I knew that there were at least three instances in this recording where this individual states, she's on drugs. You're on drugs. Are you on drugs? 
So again, if these individuals are trained to recognize that, if they're convinced, so convinced that they're stating on a recording, drugs are involved, then why are they not testing for the drugs properly? We all know that, you know, I mean, if you, if you guys think that there are any honest individuals in government or any honest police officers, you're crazy. You are out of your freaking mind. Um, and, and I mean, we're, we're doing this as, as, as well as we can, but it, it's, it's basically like, okay, well, hey, this is what's going on with these guys. And it turns out, well, only God could give us this evidence. Only God can, could uh, uh, have us be able to figure this out when the devil's trying everything that they can do to fool us. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Th this so is here's the second part, and it's only a, you know, it's only a minute after you know the first time he says she's on something. So he says, why did you drive into the ditch over there? Even though I have never said that I was driving, I never said that I was, you know, behind the wheel or that I drove into the ditch. That's right. I, and then I, yep. the second officer says, we've got one in custody. We've got one in custody, meaning that there were two. Correct. No admission of driving. Even when they attempt yeah, to put words right. in your mouth, even when they put, attempt to put words in your mouth, they can't do it, but yet they lied about it in the report. What did they say in the report? Was, was their reasoning for saying that you did this? I.e. assaulted people and then were driving and, and under the influence at the same time, knowingly. What, what was their reasoning for, for saying that, that they had any any clue, inclination, uh, thought, pretext, any sort of thing to do with that. What did they say was their reason? They've never, they never said. They but but no, 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 no. Hold on. I, 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 hold on. Hold on, Jess. Didn't they write down they knew yeah. you were driving uh, under the influence because you right. told them that you were driving? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. He says, uh, he says he located the driver in the food lion. Okay. I'm having to flip through papers to find it. Okay, let's let's break that part down. Uh, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it I one, just a second, Jess, because we're going to take this, if we have to, one word at a time. Okay. He located the driver. That's not established. He doesn't know that. He has no idea who the driver is. Go ahead. No, he decided who the driver was. He's lying. Go ahead with his with his lie. Yeah, on one twenty four two thousand twenty, I was dispatched. To a motor vehicle crash that occurred in the food line parking lot in Accomack County. I arrived on, on scene and observed an unoccupied vehicle in a ditch. I later located the driver at Food Lion. The ID ID herself to Jessica Collins, a deputy notified me she had been she had assaulted someone in the store. She stated she was going around 20 miles per hour and the crash occurred around 8 o'clock. She said she, she stated she did not have anything to drink after the crash, noticed a strong odor of alcohol beverage coming from her breath, but she contradicts all that stuff. If she can listen to the actual audio of it, Even though I 
definitely been there's no deer. dead deer there's no injured deer right and right no injured deer no raccoon uh, yeah okay jess okay no injured deer, no raccoon. and so i can play for you where he's getting this 20 25 miles an hour from well he said 20 miles an hour and you said 25 but 20. okay well, None of it was, you know, reality. It was just getting him to leave me alone. Right. Do you want me to play it? Uh, I, I, I want to get to the point where, where, where he says that you admit that you were driving. Oh, it's not. Yeah, he does it. That's what I'm sorry. That's what I've been told by other people. Oh. Oh. Okay, so the attorneys, yeah, so he's telling the attorneys, do you, do you have, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to play that right now, but do you have, do you have, uh, um, do you have evidence that, that uh, he said that to the attorneys or no? Not of that officer, no. No, no, no. I mean, what I mean is, do you have, do you have, hold on, Jess, hold on. Do you have audio of, of anybody telling you that that's what he said? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not asking you to play it. I'm just saying. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Yes, I have everything recorded. Okay. That, that's all. So, so this is, this is, yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. That, that's good. I, I was just, for my own curiosity with this case, that's what I, I wish to know. So he, according to officials, this guy, this Corbin guy told a, an attorney that told you that the reason behind the arrest was Jessica admitted she was driving, which never took place. Well, the attorney told me that the police said I admitted I was driving. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Apologies if I, if I was not being clear, that's what I'm saying that, that, that was the, you know, because nothing uh, like, like, uh, um, you know, they're saying drugs and, but it doesn't mention anything about this woman is, I repeated to this woman over and over again, she was on drugs and she was clearly on drugs. That's not in the report. So they had to switch around. He didn't seem to be interested in, in drinking or mention a strong, uh, alcohol odor in, in the, in the recording. Faint, uh, smell of alcohol. Okay. It was like not strong in the recording. Faint, but he, but my point is that he was focused on drugs. That he was yeah. at the scene, and that later when he wrote his report, he he focuses on on alcohol. So again. Right. There's no proof of anything that no 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 proof at all. Excuse me, no proof at all that you had been driving. None. Except for like, okay, let's let's wrap her up in this. You know, we don't know what happened, but we're just right. gonna say this is what happened. He's focused very clearly on drugs, right. mentions it three times to five times, at least three times, and maybe a couple times more in the recording. Mentions a faint smell of alcohol once. So that's three to one. So if I like think like three to one odds of, of one thing, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like go away, you know, uh, uh, go away from that. I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, nothing. Yeah. It smelled a little bit of alcohol, but you know, he's like, bam, this is, you're on crazy drugs. You're on drugs. You're on drugs. You're on drugs. And then no mention of drugs in the, uh, uh, in the report. So complete contradiction of what he's saying on the scene at the time, not to mention the fact that 
he has absolutely no idea that you drove anything anywhere at, at all. At all. And so if alcohol were the crime, then the only possibility of any sort of legitimate charge and taking into everything into account, it shouldn't have been any charge. He can't prove that you were driving. So if he was so sure about the alcohol, and that's the thing that was the main crux of the matter, the only thing he could charge you with is drunk in public. That's it. He says you're you're away from the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I know you weren't drunk in public. I know you were drugged. I mean, right. I'm just playing devil's advocate and 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 meaning that term literally. I'm playing devil's advocate, literally the devil, the demon devil, the adversary of God, the adversary of the natural law, a shameless, dishonorable liar who is a disgrace and a discredit to every one of his ancestors and and countrymen. What a bunch of disgusting, low-level bullies. Um so in any event, yeah, if alcohol was what he was what he was uh, uh really focused on, it's completely contradicted by the audio clips that we just heard and the and in his written statement away from the car so he has absolutely no proof who was driving when he's writing this so what where where is the proof of any of this stuff go ahead Yes. Where he's accusing me of driving? Yes. Okay. It's gonna it's sort of got that static sound in the back. I apologize, but I can't uh, Okay. Do about Everybody it. knows what you know, with the with the audio. So he says, How fast were you going when you drove into the ditch? That was the first time he asserted and accused me of driving. Mm-hmm. Okay, can, can we go over that audio? Because I, I, I can't even make it out. Sorry. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. I guess, no, it's like, the best we got. Don't apologize. We'll be able to hear it better. Yeah, don't apologize. Yeah. It's the best we got. Okay. Yeah, but I did, I did really push out enough so that I could just show what like was important, you know. Um, but because I wasn't I was, uh, thinking about the show, I was thinking about putting this on the internet because I can't put up an entire hour. It's fine. It's fine. Fu- it's 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 good, Jess. It's it's working. It's it's working. It's serving its purpose. I I just wish to know what what was actually said. I mean, we played the clip. Folks can can verify it now and later when it's put on the put when you put it out on the internet. Right. But but what we're attempting to do right now right. is is to like get a you know get what was said. Okay, what what was said in that? And I heard the twenty five well, miles per hour. That was the first time. Yeah, that was the first time he said uh, something like, "Why why did you drive into the ditch?" Or, oh no, he said, "I'm sorry." He said, "How fast were you going when you drove into the ditch?" And that's when I responded with just a sarcastic, you know, agreement. But I'm not agreeing that I was driving. Mm-hmm. Because I honestly don't know. It's it's repeated that I don't know what's going on. Right. 
Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Yeah. So he yeah, keeps asserting this, and, but then okay. So what made him assert after he was asking, like, you know, who was driving? Like, were you driving? There's, there's, you know, a possibility of two people that were involved. I, I, it, this, this just is mind numbing because it, it doesn't make any sort of sense uh, that they, that they're going so hard after you, especially considering all that's going around uh, with the news headline saying because of the coronavirus, we are uh, not bringing charges for DUIs because of the coronavirus. We're going to do our best to limit any sort of court hearings. We're doing our best to, uh, uh, to release nonviolent offenders or those who are, you know, uh, um, rehabilitated to the point where we're going to release them into back into, into public out of jail. So it, it seems so obvious that this is directly targeting you and that, that, uh, yeah. And, and that they are lying about what happened and, yeah. and, and, and I'm it's, sorry to interrupt guys, but I'm yeah. going to have to head out in 10 minutes. Okay. So, okay. so Cliff, Cliff, yeah. do you, wh what are your thoughts on this? Do you have, do you have any questions? I mean, you're usually pretty concise about, uh, um, I mean, I mean, I've been, share I've been sharing the show, Chris, and seeing the respectless response and seeing people responding. Oh, Cliff, you just watched this video. And I'm wondering, like, are you a government agent? Are you trying to distract me? So really, I'm a little cynical here. I'm sorry if I'm bringing down the vibe, but. What? What? Jessica, I wish you all the best. I tried my best trying to disseminate this information, but I think the podcast just expect us to do a darn thing about it. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any faith in the, in the, uh, in the general public. I mean, it, you know, I do have faith in certain individuals. Uh, so that's all we can really uh, count on ourselves and maybe certain in other individuals who. Uh, uh, who share our same uh, um, uh, mentality of getting to the bottom of things and, you know, punishing real criminals and stopping real crime like um, human trafficking, uh, extortion, kidnapping, etc. And it seems like that the government is behind all of that. They are at the tippy top of all that. And when I say government, I don't mean to, you know, the the criminal organized crime syndicate masquerading as the quote unquote government. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Thanks to everybody for for your for your uh, uh, good comments. Thanks. Thanks, Ron. Uh, David's watching. Thanks, David. Um, uh, David Dotrieve. Uh, thanks. Thanks to David. Um, uh, thanks for, you know, all you do for all you do, do for the show. Thanks, Clifford. Who else? Who else? Is, you know, Clifford is is always, you know, very helpful about I mean, helpful about helpful. He got always getting the, the the right the proper propaganda out there, the right information, the truth. That's what we're that's what we're here here to do. What the truth is and what's what are the lies? What's the truth? What are the lies? Who who's telling the truth? Who's telling the lies? That's that's what we're here to decide. That's what we're here to find out. That's what we're here to investigate. Uh Jess. Um Yeah. Yeah. All right, what what else what else is important out of this? Um, well I guess it's easier to watch it all together so people can see how it went down exactly because I think that shows the truth in its entirety, you know, rather than just going through it clip by clip, you can see how it how it occurred. Um, so I will do my best to get that up. Um, I guess on my YouTube channel is probably the best place to put it there. Yeah, Twitter um, and YouTube, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll do that. Um, it'll take me an entire day, uh, like thirteen hours to get it up, but. That's what I have to go through to get this accomplished mm -hmm. so that uh, 
he, the truth is known. Yeah, absolutely. You can see it for themselves. You can see it for yourself. I mean, you, you, you've heard it, and actually, some of the stuff they, they've seen for themselves. They see it. And, and, and if folks are just, you know, I mean, uh, just hearing this information now on Facebook, it's been a lot of this stuff's been up for, you know, uh, you know, a couple weeks on Twitter. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, this stuff is out there. It's, yeah. it's irrefutable. I mean, so, I mean, it seems like, you know, Jessica, you know, there are a lot of supporters out there. You have a lot of support, uh, out there, um, in America and, and around the world. You, you have a lot of support, but as far as things go, you are one, in a lot of ways, you are one individual who is up against an entire, you know, two entire police uh, 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 forces, the Accomack County Sheriff's Department and the, you know, two criminal apparatus, the Accomack County Sheriff's Department and the Virginia State Police. The Commonwealth Attorney's Office and all the, the, the attorneys working for them, the clerk of the court, and the entire court system, and all these judges. And, and even knowing that, even without being a lawyer or anything else, you have, you have uh, you know, shown this case against you as nothing but a 100% fraud a lie what they're uh, asserting what they the criminal government is asserting what they the treasonous torturers in the government are asserting is the exact opposite of the truth and i will say that what i've witnessed about this case is torture these individuals are on american soil torturing americans What's this with them tying your legs up and your arms up? What's this with, you know, you asking for a cigarette, this guy assaulting you, and then this grown man saying, oh, I was assaulted by a, what he viewed as a drugged uh, uh, um, woman, petite, small woman in her 40s, who has just been assaulted. What kind of low down coward is that? Yeah. And they're not. The pure demon. Yeah. They just keep, they keep at it. And keep coming at me. With all kinds of stuff. In the court system now. With fraud. And you know. Hanging up on me. All kinds of stuff I'm having to deal with. It, it is actual torture. It, I'm talking about that the whole thing is actual torture, but I'm talking specifically about them tying your arms and legs up. Yeah, he talked about getting rope for that. And, tie, and then I start screaming and yelling about my, my legs being tied up and please let me go. Please let my feet go. Man, so I, that will be. I'll, I'll put the entire video up so people can see it for what it is. Yep. And how the charges have been brought against me, and how it's, it's exactly related to what I know about Jeffrey Epstein and Joe Biden. And yeah. Donald Trump and Melania Trump. Right, Donald Trump and Melania Trump. So all those, all those Trump supporters that go like, "Oh yeah, it's all Joe Biden." Oh yeah, definitely the 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 Democrats. It's the Democrats. No, it's all of them. It's bipartisan. Yeah. It's all of them. It is all of them. I had to find it out firsthand. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you're right, Ron. Yeah. You're right, Ron. Ron. Ron referenced something that happened last week, and and I I had to think about about what happened last week with the disgusting phone calls to the show, and uh, um. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like. And who would do that? I was like, and what woman would do that? And then I thought, oh, Amy Schumer, 
Sarah Silverman, and then I started thinking about the disgusting documentary movie called The Aristocrats. Uh, go, go ahead, Cliff. Come, come again. I'm just saying the synagogue of Satan. Right, stuff. right, Ms. Massad. I'm about to head out, guys. Peace, much love. Keep searching for truth. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you, Chris. You're doing God's work. All right. Hey, thanks, Cliff. Uh, hey, be safe, Cliff. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Um, so I, I thought about that. Like, who would go out and just say all these disgusting, foul things? And then I thought about that movie called The Aristocrats, where that's the whole entire part of the movie, where these individuals just with a straight face – love to just say the most disgusting things about, you know, every foul and disgusting thing you can think of. And I'm not talking about like potty humor or I'm not talking about dirty jokes. I'm talking about foul filth that only something uh, that only some individuals with extreme psychological, emotional and spiritual damage would say out loud, and these guys get paid for it. These comedians like Sarah Silverman get paid for it. They ca- they get paid to come up with this stuff. So that's what these Mossad agents are doing when they call into the program and talk about. I mean, I I, I mean, I'm not even going to repeat anything that was said. Not even one yeah. iota or aspect. We, but that's we didn't even get into. We didn't even get into that aspect about the um, Spencer Morgan, the Commonwealth attorney, trying to accuse me of being crazy, making these claims, right? You know, fraudulently, but they're actual facts, right? Trying to get me seen by a psychiatrist to discredit what I'm saying, right? On the record, right? Okay, so they failed at that, and and right, and and they did, and I'll tell you, I'm familiar with this case. And we can detail this if, if you think it's important, but I'm just going to basically tell the, the, the people who are listening what happened. And you had written a, uh, was it a motion or was it a memorandum? The 13 page uh, document that it you sent. It was a motion. It was, it was a motion to dismiss. A motion to dismiss. So a motion to, to dismiss. And it basically, you did your best to cover everything about this case and everything about what led up to this. You, uh, you know, uh, uh, being a trafficking victim, you and and uh, 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 everything that you could think of. And what he basically says is, he says, yeah, it's it's long and rambling. Taken as a whole, it's this, and there's. Very little to substantiate the information. So, and then, and then he says, uh, "We think that she's paranoid and delusional." So basically, and he right and hallucinating. So basically, he, the only thing that he has a leg to stand on is he does not like your writing style, and he does not say it is false. He li- he's still lying, but he says very little to substantiate. So he says, oh, it's substantiated, but it's very little. Oh, so she's crazy. We need to get her a psychological evaluation. Why? Because he knows what evidence he has. He knows he has no evidence. And also that he can discredit you you know, uh, when, when all of this stuff comes out that you didn't do nothing, as they said, you know, I know, I know how to properly speak English, but you didn't do fucking nothing. You didn't do a thing. Except for hang out with sketchy people. Right. I wasn't going there for anything other than that. And I sipped um, a beer that was open on his coffee table. And that's the last thing I remember until the police uh, had to be at the hospital and were taking 
Pipeline won. Exactly. And specifically, for everybody to know, calling what he was drinking a beer uh, to uh, uh, a beer drinker or a beer connoisseur, that's that's a loose term. It's, it was Steel Reserve. So this is a drug dealer seeming to be a drug addict uh, drinking rock gut, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, wino beer. So th- this is this is all the way around a completely uh, sketchy situation. And, um, you know, I won't even preface uh, my, my uh, repetition of important aspects of this. That uh, C.C. Corbin guy, he keeps repeating over and over again, you're on drugs. She's on something. She's on drugs. There's a faint smell of alcohol. And then all that drug stuff is gone when they find out, no, 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 we don't want to find out what drugs she was drugged with. Yeah. I mean, is there anybody out there in Accomack County? I know you're all watching. I know you're all listening, Accomack County government officials. Is there anybody who has any honor, decency out there to just, you, you got to put a stop to this. Um, that's it. You got to put a stop to this. How, how can you sit back and watch this? Jessica does not seem to be guilty of... Go ahead, Jess. I'm saying, you know, I'm already dealing with um, the the death of my daughter. You right. Know, I, I haven't even gotten to warn her properly because I've been investigating why the police didn't do their job, why they lied about what happened to her. And then I had to find out, you know, I had to see Jeff Sessions talking about her without them even telling me. So I've, I've never since then, been able to even just have any Ten at all. Seconds. And now I'm having to deal with this on top of it all. They're pushing me to the limit on purpose. Right, and and, and of course... I've done nothing wrong. Of course... I have tried to share the truth to protect other people from having to go through this, so people can see what, what how this happened. And if... Let me and get this out. It is and how it's covered up. Okay, and, and, and your, your daughter... Uh, your daughter's death um, was an assassination, and it was uh, the front to liquidate the largest dark web human and drug trafficking operation on the internet at that time, worth billions of dollars. Alpha Bay. Yep. Exactly. So it was yep. a government assassination in, in order to liquidate the largest online trafficking operation, human and drug trafficking operation known as Alpha Bay that was created by the government, rolled up by the government. They assassinated your daughter and used that as a pretext to um, liquidate it and and, uh, start another operation from the ashes of Alpha Bay. That that's my that's my take on the matter. Yeah, and I believe she was trafficked to Epstein as a juvenile as well when she lived in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in nineteen. Oh, sorry, uh, two thousand seven. Mm-hmm. She was twelve years old down there. And there, yeah. there were there so were trafficking. That that's true. There were certainly trafficking operations inside the the Baltimore facility run by Catholic Charities. And uh, uh, and Mr. Fish, and, uh, F- Mr. Fish and his no, Mr. Fishman right. and his son, correct? Fishman, Fishman and his son. his son. Yeah, and supported by Larry Hogan, the governor of, of Maryland. Right. Yeah, where they sterilized her and she was gang raped. Right. Yeah, and, and had to run away from the facility. And and, and uh, just to get this out there, it, it's it's not just you know what we know that happened because of of uh 
first, second, and third hand information that this facility was closed down and it was verified in media reports uh, out of Baltimore, Maryland, that there were uh, that that uh, um, that uh, individuals who were forced to be there were raped, gang raped, assaulted, and and more. Yeah. What what was the name of that Actually, facility? I got that information. It, it was called the Good Shepherd in Althorpe, Maryland, which is Baltimore, Maryland. Mm-hmm. Um, in the, uh, I guess it's a part of of, of Baltimore. Um, but I have that recording on my devices of the um, the Maryland Health Department. Uh, director or official that I was speaking to on the matter of the Good Shepherd being shut down that told me there was a there was gang rapes in there that had happened to shut the facility down. That wasn't distributed by the media. Oh, okay. My my apologies then. My apologies. I'm incorrect. I, I thought that that was reported yeah, in the media. Like, you know, that was part. Yeah, that was just part of my own investigation, um, trying to figure out why that article about the shutdown of the place that Acer ran away from was um, uh, publicized uh, on the day that was the day after they say she died. You know, they she actually died on February 15th, 2017, but they said she died on, on February 16th um, because that's the day that I found her. And so they, they published the article about the facility that she ran away from being shut down, and it was shut down permanently for a year, um, on the day that they say she died, the date of her death, on February 16th, 2017. Her, I say assassination, I, I, I you refer to it as a murder, it yeah, I think it's an assassination, I think um, is, and, and it was I certainly a murder. Probably- Right, especially, and we've covered this on the program before, but when we say assassination, it it seems like that this that the individual who carried it out, who was in the uh, uh, apartment um, when uh, uh, when Aisha was murdered, was a Russian national with ties to intelligence agencies. by the army and went to a specialized school for his um his iq but he wasn't in the apartment at the time as far as i know he viewed it over the internet he viewed it occurring with a case of amnesia in the hospital so i still don't know the details because i can't get the police to do a proper investigation right they wouldn't fingerprint the needles they wouldn't yeah Right. Okay. 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 Thanks. Thanks for correcting me. Then. Thanks for correcting me. So he's stating yeah, that he was, that he was. He wasn't in the apartment. Okay. He was not in the apartment, but that he was um, a Russian intelligence agent, or that's what he proclaims. That's, that's what he what claims. Yeah. That's what he says. That's what he, that's what he claims. And now, claims. and now he claims that he has amnesia. Amnesia while he watched her die. Oh, okay. It was pre planned. Yeah, it was planned. It yeah. Was, it was decided this is what was going to happen. Right. And that's how they were going to, you know, culpability from themselves is by the same, the same agencies, the, the medical establishment um, and the police. Right, and, and that that Jeff Sessions and Andy McCabe and uh, um, oh, uh, Rod Rosenstein, they all they all like paraded themselves about uh, it regarding this this Alpha Bay bust that came about because of Aisha's death, assassination, murder, um. And that uh, you had 
previous um, interactions with Jeff Sessions, the who was then the Attorney General of yep. the United States. Okay, through yeah, right. through through yeah, the I, I saw Jeff Sessions in eight, through two thousand three. Is this twice. through the DC um, madam? And yeah, Asa. Yeah, well, I mean, it was afterward. They they would they what how they how they do it is they pass. Um, their traffic victim from one person to the next. So they have always have one handler or a handler controlling that person. But um, I don't believe that he was directly um, that I was trafficked to him directly by the DC Adam. But that network, that but same network. Yeah, but, the same network. Yeah, exactly okay. the same network. Okay, cool. It was, around, it was during the time that um, Ed Norris had moved me into the apartment in College Park. Ed Norris, who was a Baltimore PD and also a superintendent of Maryland State Police, and he's known now, he has his own radio sh- uh, uh, show in, in Baltimore, and uh, is known, uh, uh, became famous um, uh, both for his, the fact that he was uh, involved in this trafficking network. Admittedly, he was convicted in a court of law for trafficking, uh, for human trafficking and sex trafficking. And also he's, he's kind of rehabilitated his image through the HBO show called the wire. Um, and, and and as someone whose, um, ancestors, uh, uh, um, are founders of the city of Baltimore and, uh, were among the first, uh, English and European people uh, in Accomack County on the eastern shore of Virginia and Maryland, I can say I am disgusted by the human filth that runs our land and my property. And I and and yeah, it's if if the if if the devil will lose, the devil will lose in the end. And these guys, they have picked the wrong side, but it's just because they got the devil in them. They cannot help themselves. They have no honor. They have no chivalry. They pick on a poor, defenseless woman instead of picking on a actual criminal network, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, these guys, I mean, saying that they suck yeah. is, is like, you know, it, it, it just doesn't even come close to... They are wastes of oxygen. They are guilty of treason. They are torturers. They are feckless cowards. They are liars in every sort of way. And hey, like I said, if anybody's out there, they really, you know, and and we're wrong about this, they should set the record straight. I mean, we're not wrong. We're using their words. We're not using our words. I know what words mean. I know what, you know, uh, uh, I know what English, the English language is. So there you go. I mean, and, and and I guess if nothing else, then you all just know, like the worst of the worst is, is not, is not individuals like, like Coy. He's just an order follower. He's just a dumb, dumb that is demonic and evil. He's a dummy. He's less dangerous than the cops that he works for. So. Well, I mean, you know, uh, uh, Ron- there are as many guys as far as I'm concerned. Well, of course they, yeah, I, I, sorry, you're right, you're right. Uh, Ron Elson says, not a chance we're wrong. Not a chance. That that That's why we have th- these documentations because before all this stuff, before we started recording all these criminal government acts and criminal government agents, we would see it. We would know what was going on. We would tell the public, and then they would go, nah, you're a liar. You're a crazy. You're a crazy liar. That's it. Okay, well, now we got the recordings. Now we got video evidence. Oh, it's not what you think, Chris. Whatever. Yep, they all have their roles. Good no, point. Good point, I know, Ron. I know I'm innocent. I know I'm innocent. They know I'm innocent. 
spent five years on this trip. Yeah, absolutely. So okay you know we mentioned a lot of names so i'm just showing this uh your uh, um your uh, uh pin tweet uh and and the images there's epstein there's alec baldwin there's that uh, uh degenerate synagogue of satan member uh, um uh stephen miller uh what's that guy's name against yeah. marks what's what's that guy's first name Simon Marks, for, former BBC reporter. Now he has his own uh, Washington, D.C. news network. There's the usurping fake prince, Andrew. That's Andrew Windsor right there. Uh, who's the guy next to Stephen Miller? Oh, you'll have to tell me I'm not looking at it. Uh, the guy with the red tie and the red lapel, balding, maybe a goatee. Uh, gray hair looks like an old guy. Um, maybe like Arab. Oh, that's Sam Cuba. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sam Cuba. Right. Fa Saudi Arabia architect. He has some great things in front of my children. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that's Michael Moore associate. Yep. Right. Um, that's all they can do is to yeah to try and like to make it look like I am criminal and I'm not totally not. I think people can tell, you know. Yeah, yeah. That. Just so yeah, I you're you're not you're, you're not a know? criminal. Yeah, you're not dangerous. You're not a violent person. No. You're not going to cause the kind of harm that these no. individuals have ca caused to you. Um. So no. yeah. But Right. Right. Okay. And so, and so like, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do a call to action and, and, and ask folks to call up, uh, what the Accomac County, uh, um, clerk of the court, the Accomac County Sheriff's department, the Virginia state police, um, uh, barracks in Accomac County, uh, Virginia, and start really asking them questions and, and record it. While while you're asking them, just say, "Hey, this this call is being recorded. It's legal to do in Virginia. You actually you can record it, and you don't even have to tell them in Virginia. So, uh, um, right. Right. you know, even if you're calling from a state yeah, where you do have to tell somebody, if you're calling in Virginia, you don't have to tell them jack. Record them and ask them what the hell is going on. What the hell's going on here? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you persons?" All right, Jess, um, we're getting near to the end of the show. Um, you know, anything else, uh, anything else you'd like to say, um, uh, before we close out and, and you always know that you have an open invitation and we're going to be working on other stuff outside of our normal weekly militia intelligence report broadcast. Um, anything else? Department is all that can be done, and I'm I 
we would appreciate it if people did. That's all that can be done is people look into it for themselves and try to help hold them accountable because if they don't know that people are paying attention, they're not going, they're going to feel that they, they can get away with this. Well, they're watching right so now. That's all I can ask. Is yeah. To try to help. Yeah, they're, they're watching now. They're watching now. They they know that that uh, that thousands of people have seen them obviously lying in a dishonorable way on on uh, Twitter and on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I mean, what else can you say? Hey, Jessica Lee Collins on uh, on Twitter. Jessica Lee Collins on Twitter. What's what's your website, Jess? around in there and photos deleted so i'm not really sure um i'm gonna try and keep or, or you know get that in place okay so all the evidence can be seen in one place for now most of it's on twitter okay yep yeah. twitter's easy. twitter's That's important and, and also uh youtube uh what's your youtube well it's jessica lee collins l-e-i-g-h collins c-o-l-l-i-n-s at youtube.com all right all right, Jess. Um, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, right on. Sorry. All right, thank you so much. All right Jess. Well, uh, thank you very much. And actually, I apologize. Um, I was supposed to uh, uh, go uh, uh, do a shout out uh, to my next door neighbors who are cooking out in their backyard during the show. So my apologies to Eddie and the crew. But uh, um, anyway, uh, we'll 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 try to do something like that next week. Um, so uh, yeah, I believe we'll we'll close out on that. The coronavirus stuff we've already covered. What you're seeing in the stock markets, short covering, nothing else. It's 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 gonna it's gonna get worse as as far as things go. As far as the lockdown goes, over the next three weeks, I think is gonna be the worst. So. Uh, we had to cover this important event. Nobody else is covering it, and it fits in with the coronavirus uh, story as well. Um, it's all the same, all government war against the people. The government's abolished because it it has contradicted in every way its only reason for existence. The government is criminal. All government officials, all millionaires and billionaires, all lawyers and judges are all guilty of treason, and yet yeah, the American people... You need to step up because you're pathetic. All right, this is Chris Dorsey uh, reminding Americans and our cousins in the UK and Ireland and Germany and France and Spain, in Norway, in Russia, in the Ukraine, stop being so pathetic. Stop being slaves to the synagogue of Satan. Peace and God bless.